Azariah, 2 Kings chapter 15, King James Version of the Bible. In the 20 and 7th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, began Azariah, son of Amaziah, king of Judah, to reign. Sixteen years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned two and fifty years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jecoliah of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done, save that the high places were not removed, the people sacrificed and burnt incense still on the high places. And the Lord smote the king so that he was a leper unto the day of his death, and dwelt in a several house. And Jotham, the king's son, was over the house, judging the people of the land. And the rest of the acts of Azariah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David, and Jotham, his son, reigned in his stead. In the thirty and eighth year of Azariah, king of Judah, did Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, reign over Israel and Samaria six months. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, as his fathers had done. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. And Shalom, the son of Jabesh, conspired against him and smote him before the people and slew him and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Zechariah, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. This is the word of the Lord, which he spake unto Jehu, saying, Thy son shall sit on the throne of Israel unto the fourth generation, and so it came to pass. Shalom, the son of Jabesh, began to reign in the nine and thirtieth year of Uzziah, king of Judah. He reigned a full month in Samaria. For Menahem, the son of Gadi, went up from Terzah and came to Samaria and smote Shalom, the son of Jabesh, in Samaria and slew him and reigned in his stead. And the rest of the acts of Shalom and in his conspiracy, which he had made, behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. Then Menahem smote Tifsah and all that were therein and the coasts thereof from Terzah, because they opened not to him, therefore he smote it. And all the women therein that were with child he ripped up. In the nine and thirtieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, began Menahem the son of Gadi to reign over Israel and reign ten years in Samaria. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. And Pul, the king of Assyria, came against the land, and Menahem gave Pul a thousand talents of silver that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. And Menahem exacted the money of Israel, even of all the mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver, to give to king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and stayed not there in the land. And the rest of the acts of Menahem and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Menahem slept with his fathers, and Pekahiah, his son, reigned in his stead. In the fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekahiah, the son of Menahem, began to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned two years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam and the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. But Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, a captain of his, conspired against him and smote him in Samaria in the palace of the king's house with Argob and Ariah, and with him fifty men of the Gileadites, and he killed him and reigned in his room. And the rest of the acts of Pekahiah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. In the two and fiftieth year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah the son of Ramaliah began to reign over Israel in Samaria and reigned twenty years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. In the days of Pekah, king of Israel, came tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, and took Ajan and Abbeth beth maaka and Jonah-oah, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Gilead, and Galilee, all the land of Naphtali, and carried them captive to Assyria. And Hoshea, the son of Elah, 
made a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, and smote him and slew him and reigned in his stead in the 20th year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. And the rest of the acts of Pekah and all that he did, behold, they are written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Ramaliah, king of Israel, began Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, to reign. Five and twenty years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. He did according to all that his father Uzziah had done. Howbeit the high places were not removed, the people sacrificed and burned incense still in the high places. He built the higher gate of the house of the Lord. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Judah? In those days, the Lord began to send against Judah Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramaliah. And Jotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father, and Ahaz, his son, reigned in his stead.